I'm continually amazed at what this group of humans can do. Like, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. So on uh, flight one, it's a test mission, launch day. It was just full of excitement. We were all high-fiving, hugging. But just going through those emotions, the excitement was just absolutely phenomenal. So my favorite would, would have to be number one. Um, there was a point where the engines lit and I saw it move off the, off the ground. And I thought, regardless of what happens, like life's gonna be different after this point, um, whichever way it goes. And it was different. One of the biggest things that has changed from flight one through to flight 10 has been the fact that we're starting to feel like we're finding a stride. But at the same time, the nerves, the exhilaration, the excitement, the build-up, uh, still quite the same. I, I had a good feeling we would be good, we would be successful. When launch one went off without a, almost a hitch, it was awesome, it was a great feeling of accomplishment. And that we've gotten to flight 10 at such a rapid rate is just how good this team is. We just work hand in hand so great together. So 2019 has been a pretty crazy year. There's been a lot going on. We had a lot of big firsts for the company and uh, it's been really exciting to watch the company mature like that. We, we have all the mission patches up on our main production board above it and, uh, and when I put the first three up, I was thinking that was looking pretty good and now we've got a 10 and we've got to make sure we've got enough space for, for what's coming. I think you know, I'm most proud of just the overall journey of where we've got to. You know, starting from nothing, starting from you know, a few people, and you know, building a company of, of 500, it's, for me it's the overall story, it's, it's hard to pick a, a single moment. Being part of a team that, uh, you know, leading the industry is unreal, like it, you kind of like, you, you got to make sure you don't get too lost in, in those details of thinking, oh we're the first to do this, is it possible, or just because no one has done it before, you know, there's, there shouldn't be anything stopping you uh, trying the next thing or trying the next step. In the first flight of Curie by Prop, that was that was the, the launch that I was most nervous for, to be very honest. The coolest thing about that uh, compared to the, the first flight of Curie was just how much the team had grown. And so being able to share that, that joy and just relief with, with an actual team, with a full team, was, was incredible. And, and we'd been through so much at that point that I think it was pretty pretty close bond for the whole team. Yeah. It's always very, very rewarding to see uh, the customers get to their final orbital destination and um, you know customers are happy and they're excited and I think that we share in that excitement and um, it's, it's very contagious in the company. My favorite memory from this year at Rocket Lab was still Flight 9 having our second stage rotate around get a great photo of the third stage and its spacecraft floating away in the entire room everybody gasped it was just stunning. The mission that meant the most was the NASA mission. As long as I can remember as a child, I would be watching NASA television as I was growing up. And um, for me, it was, it was always uh, a lifelong goal to, to get to NASA. To actually be able to fly payload for NASA was, was a, a big personal milestone. Uh, for me, you know, getting to first flight really demonstrated as an R&D company, hey, we can get to orbit. Um, but flight three was, hey, we're now a commercial company, we've ramped up production, we're turning the corner, and we're not just turning the corner, but we're running around the corner and we're launching you know, at a, at a frequent cadence, and that's what Rocket Lab's all about. Um, I'm also very much looking forward to our first Launch Complex 2 launch at a Wallops Island in Virginia. Going from you know, a patch of sand seven months ago to being able to open the pad is a pretty big achievement that I would note and remember for quite a while. Super excited about where recovery is going. Um, Flight 10 was just such a, a, a step change for us in terms of our learning about what might be possible there. So what I'm looking forward to in the next 10 launches is just continued success. I'm looking forward to being here for the next 10 launches. I'm, I'm looking forward to being here for the next 100 launches. So maybe you'll interview me then too. <laughs> I want to say a massive thanks. Uh, thanks to, to the people I work with. Like it's, um, it's the best place I've ever worked. And I've worked at amazing places, you know. Um, but this is, it's the, it's the best people I've met and it's the best place I've worked. It's the proudest I've been to do something. And I want to thank the people for that.